In this video, I'm going to give you the key points on how to change a flat tyre safely. Things to remember before changing the wheel are Pull over in a safe place Try to park on flat solid ground Make sure the handbrake is on tight and the vehicle is in park Put your hazard lights on and if the vehicle is equipped with a safety triangle Put that behind the vehicle to warn other motorists. First, remove the spare wheel, jack and wheel brace from the vehicle. If the vehicle is equipped with a wheel chock, use it to chock the diagonally opposite wheel. Loosen the wheel nuts before jacking. If you're having a hard time trying to get them undone, use your body weight. Find the jacking point. The jacking point is different on all makes and models, so refer to your owner's manual. Make sure the jack is lifting nice and square. If not, lower and reposition. Do not risk it. Jack the car up slightly and place the spare wheel under the car just in case the car falls off the jack. And remember to jack the car a little bit higher, allowing for the fully inflated tyre. When trying to remove the wheel, you may find it fused on with light rust. Some force may be needed. Remove the flat tyre and place it under the car just in case the vehicle falls. When changing the tyre, never sit with your legs under the car or put your hands at the bottom of the wheel. Before you fit the spare wheel, make sure the hub and wheel studs are clean, free of dirt and grime. Fit the spare wheel. Make sure the wheel is located correctly on the hub. This is extremely important. Some wheel nuts can go on two ways. Always remember to put the tapered part of the wheel nut towards the wheel itself. Then put all the wheel nuts on and tighten them by hand before nipping them up with the brace. Once the wheel nuts are nipped up with the brace, you can start lowering the jack. Then you can tighten them properly when the car is down on the ground. Tighten opposing wheel nuts after each other. Don't go around in a circle, use a star pattern. Now remember, if your car was equipped with a space saver, the full size flat tyre may not fit correctly in the rear. So there you go. Now if you have a space saver like I do, it's important to remember that you cannot travel over 80 kilometres per hour with it. Now whether you have a space saver or a full size spare, remember to get the original flat fixed straight away. If you think this was inconvenient, imagine getting a flat tyre and having a flat spare.